All right, let's take a look at how you're going to turn your assignments in. And uh, this is a little sample assignment that I that I have in here for, from uh, you know a typical programming assignment that you'd see. And I'm in the student view option that I have for uh, Canvas. And so I mean, supposedly this is what your screen looks like. So I know sometimes it's a little bit different, but it should be it should look pretty close to this at least. Uh, so you have a, a program that you, you know, an, an actual assignment that you clicked on, you, you know, you'll have all this information here. Uh, you're going to be submitting a website URL. So every single assignment that you are going to submit to me from now on to the end of the semester will be a website URL. So you're gonna do the same method for uh, each time, at least from Python Tutor. I'll show you another one uh, in, in a week or two. And anyway, we'll get to that in a week or two. Uh, so we're going to use website URL on here. You notice how we have these different tabs. So you click on these tabs, they bring up different options. Uh, we are not going to use anything else on here. Okay, so Studio, Google Drive, Office 365, not for this class. 100% of the time we'll be using website URL. And oh, quick quiz URL, what does it stand for? Uh, I do the Jeopardy music, but I'm just terrible at it. Uh, Uniform Resource Locator. All right. So anyway, so that's what that stands for. And it's just our nice little www uh, link that we're going to copy in here. Okay. So you can see on here, copy and paste a link to the website you'd like to submit for the assignment. All right. So let me uh, show you a quick example of that. Let's say we are in Python Tutor. So here we are in Python Tutor. We have a nice little program. And while I have this up, I want to talk to you about commenting. I know I've mentioned it before, but these are some of the things that you should be uh, including in your program. So I want to see these things, your name, uh, what the number, location of the assignment. So chapter two, programming challenge 58. That actually doesn't exist. I just made this up when I was typing this out. Uh, and then the name of the program. So pay amount. I don't know. I just made that up too. This is just one of the sample programs. But uh, the date that you're turning this in, and approximately how long you think it took to complete the program, just however many minutes it took you to do it. All right, so those, that's kind of your header each time. And then make sure you're including comments about kind of each one of these sections, how you're setting these things up, what this particular code will do, that kind of stuff, okay? So this is a good habit for you to get into to comment your code, all right? Imagine you're working with a team of people and they need to understand what you're trying to do. So this program, obviously pretty simple, uh, but uh, we'll get to some pretty complex programs and uh, it's good to have, you know, your commenting in there. So make sure you're including that. That's part of what you'll be graded on. All right. So when you're in uh, Python tutor, so you've got your program done, you've typed it all in and you'll see down here, this little button that says generate permanent link. Don't hit that yet. Okay. Make sure you do visualize execution. All right, and then, whoops, I'm off the screen now. Awesome. Let me roll this back over here. Uh, and when you are, you know, rolling through this, you're going to go next, you're checking this, you're making sure that you're getting the right output, that everything is good. And when you see this, where it says done running, all right, so however many steps you've done, but it's done, you know the display's okay, you know that it works, uh, you want to get to done. Now go ahead, and you're going to click this button that says generate permanent link. Okay, they used to, uh, Philip used to offer uh, uh, Google short links, and for some reason it's gone. I, I didn't ask him why, but for some reason they don't let him use them anymore. I don't know what happened to him, but anyway, so they're gone. Uh, and so he doesn't have that button anymore. So this permanent link is long. So if I just put the cursor in here and we just roll across, like it's long, obviously, right? Because it's embedded in here, so it's good stuff. All right, so what you're going to do is, if I click away, if I click in this box, use the option if you, uh, see in here you see you've got copy and paste right but we want to select the whole thing so probably the easiest way for you to do that rather than click here and try to drag all the way across and all that kind of good stuff um hold down control on your keyboard and or was it command on mac and hit a so that it selects it all and you should see this whole thing get selected here all right and then you can either use the keyboard shortcut which is command or control c or right click here and say copy okay and then we will go back over into Canvas. And when you're back in Canvas, now I'm going to click in this little box and I'm going to right click. Oh, another one came up that I put in there last time. Uh, I'm going to right click and say paste. Okay. And you should see the whole thing roll in there. And I mean, if you come back, this thing goes forever. It's crazy. So if you want to paste it someplace else and look at it, depending how long your program is, this can uh, get pretty ridiculous. But it should have the whole thing in there. There's no reason for you to put any comments in here. Uh, in the uh, piece for you know canvas we don't care about that commenting in your code yes commenting here not needed uh, and then you're going to click submit assignment 
And what will happen is I'm going to click Submit Assignment. It says Submitting. Look at this good stuff. Look at that. Okay, so it's worked. Gives me this little message. Hey, blah, blah, blah. All this kind of good stuff. Okay, so we're going to you, not we, uh, you are going to submit all of your assignments this way from Python Tutor, okay? So if you have any uh, questions about this, let me know. Remember, step through the whole program till it gets the done, then hit the button that says um, generate permanent link and copy and paste it back into here, okay? I wanted to be done under, under five minutes. Sorry, I went just a hair over, but, uh, but anyway, hopefully that helps you uh, understand how to turn these assignments in.